Hello guys, have a nice day. It's me again, John Mini Sandra, and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint the tree leaves. Tree leaves is one of the most tricky part in painting landscapes. I say it's tricky because um, you need more experience and uh, more practice on handling um, the brush to create such effect or textures and today I, I will show you on how to do that um, using acrylic so first of all I'm going to introduce to you my materials um, I have here my paint palette so I have um, the titanium white the tallow blue, the the medium yellow, the brilliant red, and the lamp black, and also the burnt china. I am using now the Reeves acrylic paint. So, so wait, I'm going to add more paint here. Okay, and the word say now. Okay, this so is small, small amount, and I am using the these two types of brush brushes. Um, I have here the round pointed brush number zero. These are for the details for the branches or the tree and uh, number seven flat brush so I so I am using a new brush because I want to show you that you can use new brush for the tree leaves so number seven flat brush and I am using a water as medium cup of water so the water will thin the, the paint so that it's not hard to apply it on the canvas okay let's start with the uh, with the three with the three branches and trunks so I'm using the the lamp block and the burn china so I'm going to sketch for the branches using the number set of round brush so so if the paint feels really hard I'm going to dip it into the water just a little amount of water enough to make it wet and flowy Okay. Pointed brush will create a very small small line of paint which is for the for that branches. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the number 7 flat brush for the leaves and I'm going to dip it to the water to make it a little wet. Okay, and then clean it with, with rugs and then I use the blue, the yellow, and the red. So it's now a dark green. So remember guys to to start the tree leaves with the dark color or the dark green. This serves as the background. Okay. 
so it's now dark green so I'm using the new number 7 flat brush so I think it feels hard so I'm going to dip it into the water to make it a little wet and flowy so to just carefully um, apply the the paint or the, the brush so just observe what I'm doing here guys I am carefully um, and quickly make uh, the effect the texture by one one point um, I don't know what they call this uh, the dotted the dotted like strokes I don't know okay so start with the dark color first so also remember that okay just observe what I'm doing guys and remember that don't overdo uh, make some spaces or growth of leaves make some growth of leaves well it, it always depends on what kind of tree you are, you are creating so uh, this tree has uh, growth of leaves on it so I really, don't, I really don't know what you call that okay this is how you're doing it it's not that hard okay I think that's enough and next is I'm going to to add the highlights on the the three lips so so I'm going to use the the yellow and just add it to the green another blue yellow and white to make a lighter color you use the white more yellow it should be lighter guys okay so I think this is enough so then there's that it's not the paint is not so hard so I'm not going to dip it in the water so it's okay it's fine okay so you observe guys that that I'm not I, I I'm I'm not putting all the dark colors on the on the tree so that you still have uh, some spaces some gaps on its group of leaves so this will show you how to um, the this will show uh, what the term normal tree has okay so right now the highlights okay, just carefully and don't push it too hard just lightly okay and I am assuming that my sunlight is coming from the top top left and all the highlights should be in the top left okay I just carefully make some strokes or I don't know what you call this I call this I call it uh, dotted strokes okay and also here and uh, remember not to overdo it uh, make some more spaces okay 
okay I'm gonna add more highlights so I'm gonna use the yellow and the white okay We're using more white for the highlights. So since the paint is not that dry, so I'm not gonna add. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna pour it into the water dip it in the water okay little more highlights okay it's really fun right it's really fun in painting okay I think that's enough I have now the very nice looking um, tree and here I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint some forest trees so first I'm going to clean my brush so remember guys always clean my brush with the water okay sorry for this and I'm going to mix again with the dark green color so blue, yellow, and red. So it's a dark green now. So I'm I'm using red guys, I'm adding some red. This will make the color more matured or darker. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just brushing it all the way so it feels like hard so I'm gonna dip the brush into the water okay more more dark green I think I'm having uh, no yellow okay so use the tip of the brush to make to create some uh, tree like textures okay. okay so this is the how you do it guys just follow what I'm doing Okay, I think I, I don't have yellow, so I'm gonna add more a little yellow. So remember, guys, not to put a um, large amount of paint on your palette. Just a little amount, enough for the the one that you are creating. Okay, I think this one is almost done. More dark color. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna create a lighter color. So I'm gonna use the yellow and a little blue to make it lighter and white, more white and yellow. Okay, so since our light is coming from the top left, top left side, the I'm going to add a lighter color or the highlights on the top left of the 
of these fires. So, I'm gonna use that. So again, the same technique you're using with the with the with the the three leaves or the tree. So again, uh, just carefully uh, quick uh, dotted strokes. I really don't know what to call that. Dotted strokes. Okay. So this is how we're doing it. And don't overdo. Okay, and the other one. Okay. So always remember guys to add some gaps on the on between of the growth of leaves. So like this part. This part is dark and this, this part is light. So don't put all of uh, of all, all of your highlights on the on the all the what they call this uh, on the entire area. So make some spaces or gaps. So here I'm going to add some gaps here. So I'm gonna add the, the highlights here. So just don't put it all. So I remember the time when I was still um, the first timer in acrylic uh, in painting. So <laughs> I was putting everything highlights or the light colors on the on my leaves. So it, it was messed up. <laughs> Well, that was my first time, it's okay. Okay. And I'm gonna add more uh, vegetations on this, uh, on the foot of the forest. Okay, I think that's we're done. Or maybe I'm gonna add more. Okay, I'm gonna clean the brush first. Okay, sorry. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use the 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 brush round brush for a little details. And white, burn senna, a little yellow. This will create the effect of having uh, trunks inside uh, the thick leaves of the forest. So. Okay. okay, just a, use a little brush, main brush for for this uh, job this will create um, an effect that it has uh, as a trunk and make sure it's not too thick or too light make sure it's enough or just just small enough Okay. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, wait, two more. Okay, I think that would be enough. So again, guys, clean your brush, always clean brush after your your finishing with your painting or after you've done your painting because acrylic really dries fast so you need to clean it afterwards okay guys thank you thank you so much for 
for watching my tutorials or my videos so hopefully you get something in my in my little demonstration and once again guys if you like my tutorials please hit like um, comment or subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future and please visit my website um, www.gmlesona.com for more paintings so again guys thank you so much and have a nice day